So two, two little mistakes from Molson. Sort of wrecked his race, really. But he's on the mediums. He's clearly not happy on those tyres, but you've got to run them at some point. And, well, that point is now, isn't it, for him? So Molson 14th. Let's uh, have a quick look up the field, see what's happening. Dyson in 7th, Chuck in 8th. Chuck trying to chase him down, not much going on there really. So let's just have a look at our leaders in. Well, it's Thomas still out in front and he's bringing Wardrew along too fast, just going off the back of these now. Just can't quite get onto him, can he? Just leaving a little bit of a space now. These two in front are pulling away a bit, aren't they? But what are we? 18 laps in, so over halfway now through this race and, well, still plenty of time, I guess. So Thomas first, Audrey second, too fast in third, Paul in fourth place, all on his own, he's got absolutely no pressure behind him at this point, and he's can't quite do enough to get himself onto the front three at the moment, so of course we've got another stop haven't we? So it could all switch around and change again, but at this point, very lonely race as you can see for Paul. Waters meanwhile, fifth place for him, which is where he's been now for a little while. And again, he's kind of on his own too. He's left the, the guys behind him. There's Jerry. He was just, again, becoming isolated a little bit. And then not too far is that little battle behind him in Dyson and Chuck and Chuck's close right in on the back of Dyson now and ooh, runs a bit wide. I thought he was going to go out onto the dirty stuff there, Dyson, but no, it's fine. Held it quite well, actually. Could have been worse, couldn't it? But uh, Dyson then at the moment holding off Chuck. I don't think anybody's really enjoying the medium tyres, although I've got to say, having been driving one of the cars, and they weren't actually as bad as what you might have thought. There was just certain corners that you had to be a little bit careful on, and this was one of them, and oh, and Dyson goes wide again. Chuck thought he could take him there, but didn't quite, couldn't quite make it. Just a quick apologies to my viewers. I was meant to be doing this as a, a live broadcast or commentary, but technical issues, as they say. So that hasn't worked, has it? And uh, so I've had to do it this way, but um, nevertheless, it is what it is. We're still watching some great racing, aren't we? I'll try and get that rectified though before the next round. I want to try and do this championship as a, a live commentary championship. But I've got to try and uh, sort out the Gremlins first. So Chuck then, eighth, DJ in ninth. Have we seen much of DJ, have we? kind of been on his own there in the race and not really been in any kind of battles that we've seen anyway. His teammates doing okay up there in third place at the moment. But DJ doing all he can to try and get up the field. He is on the Super Softs too, Jim Bob then. Trying to chase down DJ. He's in 10th for the moment, Jim Bob, and he's got DJ in his sights. 
nicely round now, Jim Bob now, power down and away you go and flat to the floor around this next piece, this sweeping right hander into this left hander, tight left hander, kind of double apex. Easy to run wide as we've seen on a couple of occasions here with Chuck and Molson. Jim Bob then 10th place, Unforgiven still in 11th. Not really moving up, is he? Can't, just can't quite get the grips of it, I don't think, tonight here at Suzuka. It's unusual to see him this sort of far back, if you like, in the field, but... So, I don't know. Maybe just an off night. Dan in 12th. Look up from Dan. And that livery that's shining in the sun there. And Ginger 13th. Got back down to 13th, so Dan's got through, hasn't he? But Molson back down to 14th, so Dan actually has made up a couple of spots. It's taken Ginger and Molson. Molson at the back. As we know, after his two big errors. Can't miss him though with them wheels, can you? Molson. Back up top then, and we have the new leader, Wadru, who's got past Thomas then, to head over to start lap 22. Wadru, who basically was having a bit of a rest, although he's under severe pressure from Thomas now. He's got the win on, oh Thomas, a bit messy round now, again gets himself offline, gets some wheels onto the grass and did well to keep that on the uh, on the track actually, just lifted the throttle, let it roll through, you're going to be giving it large there when you're off the track, otherwise you'll be spinning, let me hit the kingdom car and Done well there though Thomas, so still trying to chase down Wadru. But is this Wadru's opportunity to now get away from them too far? Still clinging on there is a uh, place. We'd I mean, be happy with third, I think. As it stands at the moment. I don't want that first place, of course, but has he got enough in the machinery to, to get up there? Back up top, and I thought Thomas was having a go then. Very close up here with these two. The usual culprits, isn't it, up here? Finding it out, battling it out. Down here, turn one, he's going to... No, not far enough up. I thought he was going to have a look, Thomas. Nicely round there. Now, the start of the twisty st the stuff and uh, right, left, right, left. Here at Suzuka, GP. Great facility over there in Japan. the bridge now and then up to the hairpin. Drop it down to first gear. 45, 50 mile an hour through there and then away we go. Thomas the opportunity now to get in and get past. He's going to give that DRS a little tap and slip as well and gets through. Good pass from Thomas around the outside. 
Audrey knew that was going to be coming because it just ran a bit wide, didn't he, on the exit of the left hand up, and uh, he knew that Thomas was going to give the opportunity to Thomas to get past him, and that's exactly what he did. But Wadrew will try and stick with Thomas now, try and get that place back. Too far still in third. Lap 24, so. I'd imagine we've got a couple more laps for these boys before they come in for their last stop. With ten laps remaining now. And actually, Thomas looks like he's pulling away a bit from Wadrew, doesn't he? Yeah, he's gapping him now. Dyson's in, so he's had enough. He's uh, changing on his... Final stop now, so Wadru second, just falling back into the clutches of too fast, isn't he? So Wadru is his tyres going off. Maybe. So maybe Wadru, remember, he did come in a lap earlier, didn't he? So he's going to have less, probably less grip than what these boys have got. Well, actually he hasn't, but he hasn't got a lot of fuel. So I think he's going to definitely be in this time round, Wadru. So going to be the first to go in again out of these front three, isn't he? So we keep an eye on that. Too fast is uh, sniffing around still behind him. Thomas, I think, will stay out. T too fast in attacking Wadru. Uh, stays in third. He might as well stay in third now because I think he's going to inherit second because Wadru will be in and there he goes. Just peels off to the right-hand side into the pit lane. So too fast then, up to second place. Wadru in. Paul, going to get that third place off Wadru. As he comes round, turn one. There's a power down now, just let it flow through these S's. this point put the hammer down hitting his apexes for Paul in third Rodders in fourth still down still under no real pressure from anybody Wadru well he's there he is so he's come out in fifth place then so Wadru he's gonna go to the end now as fast as he possibly can. He's on the super soft, so he's left the super soft till last. So it won't be long for him before he gobbles up Rodders. And here he is, he's right on him now. Rodders is not going to make it hard for him, is he? No. Sails past him, Wadru. Rodders probably be coming in this lap. Thomas, our leader's in. So that's going to promote too fast then to first position. He's going to have one more lap out of this, isn't he? Paul's up to second now as well. So Paul's going to take Thomas while he's in there too. So second for Thomas. Audrey some way back in fourth. I think Thomas is going to come out in front of Wadru here as he heads round the chicane into this start and finish now and Thomas is out so it's going to be close. Rodders is in as we thought and Thomas we just had a glimpse of him didn't we just leaving the uh, just going around this right hander now so he's some way ahead of Wadru. Tim Bob's in, Rodders is in so Jerry up to fifth now. He hasn't been in it yet either, has he? So fifth place for him, Chuck to sixth. So it's all about this final stint now, isn't it? Where are these guys gonna end up? Everyone's filtering in and out of the pits. It's all about where they're going, where they're coming out now, isn't it? Oh, 
was going to be running out there then, but a little bit wide, but no big dramas there. So Chuck then, eyeing up fifth place off Jerry. And Jerry, not... Not much time, has he? And it's going to give Chuck a bit of an opportunity, although Chuck's tyres ain't the best either at the moment. They've both got to come in, I think, and both too fast and Paul are both in now so our first and second place guys are in so let's just go back quickly and have a look at Thomas to see and he's going to take him isn't he because he's just coming through that final chicane to start another lap so he's going to be taking him now and there he goes takes up that lead Andrew Yulto is going to take him into that second place is who he is in the background so it's where too fast he's come out actually is he's come out in front of Andrew great stop so, didn't quite do enough to get Thomas, did he? But can he hold off Wardrew now? Having said that, two thrusters on the medium tyres for this last stint. Wardrew's on the super soft, so Wardrew's is going to be lovely and toasty by now. So, if Too Fast can keep Wardrew behind him, then fair play to him and good driving. But I think it's going to be a matter of time before Wadru gets it. It's going to be a battle to the end, of course. Too Fast not going to give it to him, that's for sure. We know Too Fast. Certainly he's not going to do that, but... Going by what the, the tyre situations are... I mean, Wadru is slightly older, of course. It's what Too Fast can do on those mediums, I guess. So, something to watch out for later in this race as we're what, into uh, the last, what, six laps, seven laps even. Go too fast then. Second place, Thomas we know is up top, Wadru third, Paul in fourth. There's Paul, so actually, still in fourth, came in in fourth, come out in fourth. But I don't think he's going to be better in that position. He's just not close enough to the guys in front. and So I don't really see him better in it. Unless something happens ahead of him. There they go, round turn one. Uh, Jerry is in fifth, but he's coming in. So Jerry's in. That's going to give DJ, who's in sixth place now, the opportunity to get that fifth place off him. And he's going to do it, I think. Because he's depends, I suppose, on how much fuel Jerry puts in but he's going to take him DJ's definitely going to get Jerry here so DJ up to fifth place Rodders in sixth also takes Jerry down Chuck in seventh also and there's Jerry now coming out and he's going to be oh, just behind Dyson who's got eighth spot so Jerry then comes out in ninth behind Dyson and he's on the mediums as well Dyson's on the soft and they're a little bit older but I think you've got to say that Dyson's probably in a more favorable position taking nothing away from Jerry of course Jerry's quick he's gonna be on him Jerry having a look here, see if he can get that eighth place back, and he's going to get it back for sure with that, with Dyson doing a little bit of grass cutting. Not giving it to him though, is he? And on the inside, Jerry, can he do the switch back? No, actually, that was well controlled. I thought Dyson was, I thought it was a given for Jerry there, as Dyson went grass cutting. But he kept it planted, got himself back on the track, and didn't lose anything, no spots. Jerry's on the back of him, of course, but... Uh, that was great driving. Oh, another little opening for Jerry. No. So, still 8th and ninth. Go back a little bit further. There's Jim Bob in 10th. So, good race by him. Unforgiving in 11th. Where he's been for most of the race. Surprisingly. That's Paul's teammate. And, and the Red Bull. Team Red Bull. He's on the super soft, so he's going to be flat, going flat out. DJ's actually coming in, so 
He's going to be losing some spots now, isn't he, DJ? Let's just stay, stay with Unforgiven and see if he can get DJ here. DJ's not going to be taking on quite as much fuel, is he? So he's not going to be in the stop for... No, he's out now already, so... No, he's well clear of Unforgiven then. So DJ, there he is. Yeah, he's probably the whole length of that straight, isn't he? So DJ, down to 10th, did lose a spot to Jim Bob. So Unforgiven then, 11th. Dan Bailey, haven't seen a lot of Dan either, have we? In 12th, with Molson. Trying to attack Dan to try and get that 12th off him. Ginger back in 14th, so Ginger's had a problem, I think, or it was a stop that got him back there, but I think, looking at where he is, it must have been a problem somewhere along the line. Molson's still trying to attack Dan, and still holding him off. Oh, I thought he was running wide there, Dan, but no, that's comfortable, that's good. Let's just have a look, because I've got a feeling that Thomas might well be hitting the back marker soon. There's our leader, and he's not too far. Ginger's not that far ahead of him, is he? Still knocking out the fastest sectors too, Thomas, at this stage. So we're on lap 30 now, so five more to go, including this one. Or what left of this one. And it looks like Thomas might well get victory here because he's clear of the other two now. Wardrew and Too Fast, who's still having a little battle of their own, but Wardrew's still got that second place off of Too Fast. So not much change up there. There's Too Fast there, a third. Paul, well, in fourth still, and a long, long way back. So, as I said, no change there for fourth for Paul. He's not going to be moving anywhere there fast. Rodders again, fifth place for him, I think. He's settled for that. Not going to be any movement in positions there for Rodders. Got nothing behind him in terms of pressure and nothing ahead of him either. A long way ahead of him is Paul. So as long as he don't make a mistake, fifth place for Rodders. Chuck, he's got himself to sixth, so good for Chuck in the end. Left those super softs till last like his teammate and Maybe it's doing the trick, isn't it, for him now? Not sure he's going to be better in sixth place either, but good result, though. Either way, seventh for Dyson, and he's a little bit under pressure on Jerry still. Although, having said that, Jerry runs wide. So that might have just put the end to that. There's eight. Only a few laps left now, and that might have paid, put pay to Jerry's attack on... Dyson drop back, isn't he, now to even further now. So eighth for Jerry. Jim Bobby ninth. He would have seen that little mistake by Jerry. That would have given him a little bit of an incentive to see if he can catch him, but he's using the DRS to see if he can get a little bit closer. You can see it flashing now. So you never know. They start 30, lap 31. Four more laps to go. And again, he's using as much of that DRS as he can. But we'll see. See if he can get onto the back of Jerry. DJ in 10th. So I had a bit of a quiet race with DJ. Really, not really got any further up than than that other than when all the uh, stops were filtering around and moving up and down but 10th place it will be for DJ he'll be doing his best of course to try and get onto the group ahead of him Jerry and Jim Bob but well there's Jim Bob so possibly 9th place could be in his grasp all depends doesn't it we'll see Unforgiven, still in 11th. And it's all been pretty settled here. Come the end of this race, isn't it? Not really much action in terms of passes going on. Everybody's quite settled in their positions. And Bailey, 12th. Done well, Dan, just to certainly keep Molson at bay, who's 
fell back a bit, hasn't he? Because he was attacking Dan, wasn't he? A couple of laps back. So, has he uh, had another little issue, Molson, or is Dan just... Oh, and there's another issue from Molson, and... Well, it's catching a few uh, drivers out there, isn't it? That particular turn. Thankfully, there is a runoff, and you can get back on the track, and it's not a sand pit where you're just going to get buried, but... Just loses you so much time, of course, running out wide there. And then Ginger, as we know, 14th place, and I think, actually, that he may well have been taken by the leaders. I think he probably has. Thomas is still there, because that's too fast, has gone past him, so he has, so Ginger dropping back. So, talking of leaders, let's have a look at Thomas. As he starts lap 33. So two more laps in for our leader, Thomas. It looks like he's got this run wrapped up. Been a good drive from Thomas. Audrey. Again, up there where you were expecting to be, up the sharp end and another great race. Just uh, got himself down at the fourth, just taking it easy. A little bit of fuel saving, getting himself in behind the guys. Then he decided enough was enough. Trying to pull the pin and got himself back up there. And then there was a fight between himself and Thomas and Too Fast for these top three positions. So there's Too Fast there in third. And pretty much how it's been all race, isn't it, these three? I did say it was going to be between these three and it was just what positions they were going to finish in. The Too Fast, really. I don't think he's going to get any better than third, but it's a great result anyway. Tried his best, did what he could. Was up there in the heat of the battle, wasn't he, at times? And but I think the mediums have just had it now. He just hasn't quite got enough to keep with Wadru and Thomas. Paul, likewise, he's on the super softs now. And uh, he's got past Ginger too now, but been a quiet race really for Paul. He's tried all he can to try and get what he can and get up to the other three ahead of him but just couldn't do it but false fourth would do okay that would do nicely for Paul some good points as he heads round onto the final laps the leaders now are on their final laps and this is it then as we start that one Rodders in fifth some way back in fifth place and it's Chuck Dyson in seventh, Jerry in eighth, Jim Bob in ninth. Not far behind him is DJ, and he has caught up with Jim Bob, hasn't he? And here he goes. He's going to be in the uh, using the DRS and the slip now. Yeah, there you go. You can see it flashing. So he's using some of that DRS up. He's going to get Jim Bob, I think. Pulls it up into the inside of the chicane and oh, a little bit. Oh, fortunately, the wheels didn't lock then into each other. Could have been a major incident there at the chicane, but DJ just let off a little bit, let Jim Bob have it. So he's going to be attacking him and getting him down here at turn one for sure. And there he goes. Has he got past him? He has. Easy in the end for DJ, gets himself the ninth spot then. So let's go back to our leaders as we come to the end of this second round at Suzuka so oh, here he is then Thomas coming through the last chicane in the last section good race Thomas congratulations our winner Thomas then from Wadru in second too fast in third and that, that far behind his pole fourth place for Paul and we're going to get Rodders in fifth place as we watch him coming up the back straight and another terrific race here at Suzuka high entertainment so it's going to be Rodders in fifth place Chuck's going to come in in sixth Oh, 
nice and it's fighting back with Jerry or fighting with Jerry and Dyson's just going to get him I think Jerry so Dyson 7th yeah good race for them two Jerry in 8th DJ in 9th Jim Bob's going to come in 10th it's a great result for Jim Bob Unforgiven in 11th Ginger's already finished in 13th if we know so Unforgiven in 11th place coming across the line now and then Dan coming through the chicane in 12th and then Molson oh sorry Ginger in 13th Molson in 14th so there's your round two from Suzuka hope you enjoyed that I certainly did and uh, I'll catch you again for round three soon and uh, take care of yourselves and I'll see you then